Hey YouTube, uh, welcome to this tutorial, and today in GIMP, we're going to be creating this uh, sort of tortoise island. Um, you're obviously going to be going to be needing a bunch of uh, stock photos for this. Um, this could be used like as a wallpaper, or um, I know this is a little bit uh, belated, but um, for like Christmas um, uh, present, like I did this for my mom. So, um, you could obviously do that. Uh, we're going to be making splashes. So, you're going to need to download these, um, uh, splash brushes. And basically, what I did was I just searched on, um, DeviantArt. And I just, um, search, uh, water brushes. And I believe I used, um,. Uh, either the first one or the second one. You should probably just get both. Um, yeah, so just use um, those. So um, let's get started with this tutorial. Alright, so I opened up this uh, Tasmanian Peninsula um, image. And um, now what we're going to do is we're going to open up our uh, tortoise uh, render. Alright, so I op also opened up... Um, this sort of uh, reference guide for uh, trees. We're actually going to add an alpha channel to that. And then this tortoise render that I did, um, I forgot to remove uh, this little bottom half. So we're just going to delete that off of the uh, image. Select none. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to sort of center our tortoise. Uh, we're gonna minim um, scale them down, check the chain, and um, scale them down pretty, pretty well. That seems good, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty good. Um, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our clone tool, uh, minimize this top layer. And um, we're gonna actually move our tortoise a little bit over here, a little bit down. That looks good. We're gonna take our clone tool, select um, sort of like around here. Um, I'm gonna need to use a bigger brush. Take a fuzzy brush. Um, turn up the scale. That's about good. A little bit less than that. Maybe like five or six. Six is good. And um you're just gonna like uh make a new layer and then just like um paint some like the cracks in and then um just on the bottom half like of the shell not very much. Um Try and blend in all the different types. And make sure it's like not all the same pattern. Like you can see some of the recurring themes. So you gotta make sure that they're all like um, pretty different, you know? So that seems pretty good. You're gonna output to selection the tortoise, um, control I, and then just delete any excess stuff. Uh, you can select none. Uh, now what we're going to do is we're going to um, view our island, um, and you're gonna, just going to uh, scale it up a little bit. Uh, about like that. That looks good. And you're going to proceed to um, uh, painting uh, him in. You're going to make a new glare and uh, do this. Trying to make sure you don't find any uh, various edges. Um, I'm going to select like down here and make sort of like a um, water part right here. Um, select up here and start working on stuff. 
you want everything to blend in fairly well which is probably why we're using the um, fuzzy brush leave the edges pretty fuzzy um, we're gonna be fixing that soon you gotta make sure that um, it's not an obvious pattern that you're duplicating so like right here you can tell they're kinda the same so you just click a little bit just to mimic it things um, for the grass right here it sort of like blends off you're gonna try and um, erase it and um, sort of tree shapes just so it's not completely random So that's uh, obviously a pretty recurring theme, so I'm just going to choose something right here. Mess with it. Alright, so now for the edges, this is where it gets a little bit complicated. You want that sort of uh, tree-ish, um, tree edges look. So you're just going to choose bits like right here uh, will look good, like right here. You, could, you just have to match it, and this is really good because it has a different, like, medians. Um, so I'm going to choose like a pretty uh, level one and then so that looks good. And then you're just going to flip um, this render so that you can get the uh, this side. Um, take my clone tool. I guess clone that. like that I guess and then you just can take your eraser tool um, scale it up pretty high and then you're just going to erase parts of these edges I didn't do a very good job with this but um obviously you guys are going to be able to fix that hopefully you'll do this a little bit more carefully than I do um, we're going to actually make this all a little bit higher um, just so that you can have um, a little bit more to work on, to work with. You don't want any of that. So we're going to make this pretty high image. That looks good. And then um, uh, we're going to rotate it. I mean, uh, flip it again and then choose this area to work with so this all looks good um, and the real challenge of this basically ugh, the real uh, challenge is just making sure that it all flows, flows. so that's pretty good um, so far and you're just gonna um, paint a bit over um... some of the rocks just to blend everything in you know make, make it all look realistic so that looks fairly good this top's a little bit bad now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add sort of a waterfall effect so go open as layers and then um, open up a waterfall sock. So I'm just using this waterfall landscape. Um, and we can delete, or we don't really have to delete it, but we can minimize that. Um, and then just add an alpha channel to this um, and position it around here. Um, add a layer mask. And then just start. Um, basically removing a lot of the background so uh, I'm not using a tablet or anything I imagine that it'll be it'll look a lot better with a tablet but that's not necessary and you're actually going to need to um, apply the layer mask and then um, look, look like a 
forgot a little bit down here. Gotta make sure the edges are clean. Alright, um, and then, uh, scale it down a little bit. Because it is fairly large. So that looks pretty good. Um, we're gonna duplicate it. Um, rotate it. And then, like, maybe have a little bit coming down on over his foot. And, um, scale your scale tool down pretty much, uh, pretty far because, um, these water brushes are pretty large as they are. So you're just gonna put white as your foreground color, um, make a new layer, and then just start painting in, like, splashes just to make the whole thing look pretty realistic. And obviously, you're gonna use different splashes and stuff. Um, I'm definitely not the best at making this all look realistic. That was really bad. So that looks good. Um, now you're just going to duplicate this layer, move it over here, and then you're just going to, um, whoop, sorry my computer froze up a little bit there. Um, you're just going to choose, um, just use your fuzzy brush and erase the, uh, top part of this just so that's just so that's a uh, splash um, and you're just gonna move it down a little bit and then um, on your uh, splash layer then you can take um, your uh, brushes and make the splashes So it's a it's a pretty cool effect. Um, trying to make it all look a little bit better. Um, trying to make it a little bit chaotic um, with the splashes going everywhere, but you know uh, that's pretty good. And then you're just gonna do this. Uh, entire process again with the back foot. So just like that, and um, looks like there's a little bit of stuff I forgot to get. And then um, just work on this back foot a little bit. And um, for um, time constraints, I'll be back once I finish the back foot. All right, so I finished the back foot, and now the last thing that we have to do. Oh, whoops. Um, my bad. Now the last thing that we have to do is um, sort of configure the image. Um, we have to make everything uh, flow. Um, and the way I do this um, is by putting uh, white to your foreground color, putting FG to transparent, um, making a new layer, and then sort of just like dragging this over here just to make this side sort of uh, less prominent. Um, next, uh, what you can do is go uh, layer new from visible. And then you're just going to go colors, brightness, contrast. You're going to lower the brightness a little bit and then boost the contrast. And what this does is it makes it a whole lot richer. Um, and it sort of brings out the darkness and the uh, lightnesses of the color. So that looks good. You're going to click OK. And you have finished your turtle image manipulation. Um, thanks for watching, you guys. Um, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. I'm just going to touch up a little bit on this. It doesn't look incredibly realistic. 
Um, obviously, you guys are going to use it a lot more, uh, spend a lot more time on this. I sort of just whizzed through this. <sighs> My bad. Alright, um, yeah, so thank you for watching this tutorial. And, um, I don't know why it's not letting me do this. Ah, yes, I know why. Because I had this new from Visible Lore. So I'm just gonna touch a little bit. So, uh, yeah. Thank you for watching this tutorial, and have a great day.